Hello everyone, uh, this video is going to be um, uh, a video of me doing the install of, of the seat covers I got from Love to Customized. I do run into a couple of issues that hopefully watching this movie will prevent you from doing the exact same mistakes as I did, so uh, enjoy! Okay, these are the seats. I'm going to put those covers on. The stains aren't as bad on uh, the passenger side side which is this one as they are on the the driver's side uh, but still in order to keep those original seats from getting any worse i think it's a good idea to to install these covers in the back uh, rarely used um, so they look better i think but still a good idea to to uh, to prevent those those stains that that actually just come from from rain water or, or stuff like that First thing I'm going to do is to get these uh, levers off um, and what you need to use is a flatbed screwdriver. Pull it to the utmost position and inside you see a small tab that needs to be pulled down a bit and be careful not to break anything. Um, but they come off fairly easy like that. All right. You can still adjust the seat by, by using this uh, metal lever. Um, but that is what you need to do with both both of these handles. And um, it's fairly easy actually. Just, yeah, be very careful not to break anything. I said easy, first one was. Here we go. Like that. All right. Next thing is only a couple of screws. You need a T20 uh, torque screwdriver to get those two screws. This one is one of them. Remember where you put those, and the other one is is located in here. Uh, if you, um, it's fairly easy to access actually. If you have the 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 seat in the the utmost position. That's it. All right. So, just these two screws. Um, they're different. So, you need to remember which one is which. Uh, obviously, you can't screw um, screw them in wrong, but I think it's a good idea to just remember which one is which. Right now, you should be able to, to pull this off gently. It's latched on, so does need some force. Like so. All right. Step one complete. All right, we're ready with the first seat cover. Uh, these are the, the seats for the, for the front seats. And they are actually a bit different um, because on one side you have this bit, I'm not sure what it is called in English actually, or in Danish. Uh, on the other side you don't have this. And according to the manual this needs to be um, put where the, the seat belt, on the seat belt side. So that's what I'm going to do. So first we need to push this through the seat. And the manual states that uh, if you try to get your seat back and forth that might help and you can still access that um, even though the lever is, is off. Let me try to do that. But it's a bit difficult.
The next thing is just fastening these two straps. Fairly easy job. Just make sure that you don't entangle some of, uh, of the, the wires from underneath the seat. Next thing is getting one of the hooks from the bag, securing it to the two elastic straps, pulling it under the seat. I'm going to attach it to, to the strap I've just installed. After that, uh, there are a couple of elastic cords as well, and you need to find the other on the other side. It goes all around, all, all the way around the bottom by just tying these two together. I don't think it's necessary to pull it that hard because we're going to fit this one, we're going to fit this one in a short bit. Um, so that is going to hopefully work out this, uh, these bumps. All right, the next bit is kind of difficult and you might want to do it a couple of times. It's a bit difficult. I tried it a couple of times getting this thing back. Um, fitting properly outside these covers um, and it takes um, a bit of fidgeting to, to get it uh, in place um, so maybe I'll fast forward through this bit time for the backrests. Um, these covers are also side dependent so make sure you look for this small tap and put it on the outside um, to, towards the doors. Um, and a couple of things you need to do before trying to pull these covers uh, over the, the seats are a couple of zippers need to undo and some velcro in the bottom as well. I've reclined the seat to, to the maximum position. Uh, the first it goes back, I'm going to try to fit these seat covers on top of that. Once you've done that, the two zippers uh, needs to be sit down and the slip needs to be tucked away underneath the seat. Final bits are just hiding the zippers away, tuck them underneath the cover. And there are a couple of um, straps that need uh, hooks as well. Okay, this is what the seat looks like right now compared to, to the other side. Looks really well. Have a couple of bumps. I might want to try to see if I can figure out what to do with, for example, that one. I think I have to, to take this this one, this bit this cover off once again to fix that uh, but I think I will do that. Uh, 
from the back it looks like this so you can still have access to to the lever here you also have a nifty little um, way to to store your magazines or something like that if if you read those um, yeah but uh, all in all it looks really well fits really well all right that's uh, the front seats being done um, fit really really well uh, feels really good um, so that only means I need to do uh, the back seats all right next up back seats um, it takes a bit of a bit of violence to get those out um, let me see what I can do Easy as that, weighs absolutely nothing. Okay, I've gone inside with the back seat because it's much easier to do inside uh, rather than having the seat on the grass or something like that. So this is what it looks like uh, from the from the underside of it. And there's a couple of things, there, there are a couple of things that you need to do um, before you can move on. One of them is removing the cup holder, which is just two screws from the underside. Um, the seat, Very easy, cover screws, don't lose those, um, and you have four of these, um, which are the isofix uh, caps, you need to just squeeze these together and take them out, you need to do that to all four of them, and preferably you're going to actually detach these two bits taking them apart like this, because this bit does not really go well with what we're going to install because um, it's going to be through a zipper. Uh, you'll see that shortly, but it's, I think it's a good idea to, to actually just take these off and, and keep them somewhere safe so that you can find them again if you, you ever need those. But for now, I think I'm going to leave the isofix bits like this, or the covers for the isofix. I've laid out the the cover for the the back seat on my, my couch facing away from me so this is the front end of the the seat when you you flip it over because you're going to do something first with the the holes from the isofix so you take your seat just place it into the cover we're going to fix it much more snugly in a second well, there are a couple of straps under here you need to find just outside each of the holes for the isofix and you need to tie these together just with a, uh, a couple of knots and do that to the other one as well. Right, the next bit are the straps. Um, it doesn't say anything about it in the manual, but I think they need to be threaded through these straps as well. Like so. I don't think you should pull that too tightly. It's going to fit nicely even if you don't do that. And the last bit uh, you need to do are the string that goes all the way around inside this leatherette. Um, I'm not sure what this is called, but there's a string all the way around. So you need to tighten that a bit and tie it.
The next thing is to feed the cup holder through once again and tighten those two screws uh, that you have on the back side of the seat. I've realized I did something a bit stupid previously. I should have put these Isofix covers in the first thing um, before putting any cover on, obviously. But it is possible to do through uh, the zippers that you hear. This is where the uh, the holes for the the Isofix is. And the next thing I'm going to do while I'm inside, might as well get these out of the way because uh, once I read the manual, they actually were bugging me a bit because um, I have to cut a hole in the actual leatherette with a with a box cutter. Um, that is. There, there, there are two things that worry about the install and it's only when I have to do uh, some cuts. Um, actually, before I um, started doing this video, I did the first one. So, uh, just in order to for me to practice a bit before doing it on tape, I found it to be a bit difficult cutting the hole. You can see, if you look at this one, there's no hole in, in the side here. You have to cut a sort of a uh, across and feed this button through and I found it a bit difficult finding where the center of this button is once this cover is on the headrest uh, but it turned out to be fairly okay I think um, I think I have misplaced uh, the cross by maybe a couple of millimeters because you have a bit of a, um, a bulge right here maybe that's because I didn't probably find the center for this button but i'll try uh, with this next one to see if i can i can make it work even better so the first thing is pretty easy just feeding the headrest into the cover fairly standard pretty easy job to do it fits quite nicely um, but still make sure that you can uh, get the headrest all the way into uh, the cover. I'm not going to uh, do these Velcros just yet. There are a couple of Velcros because I need to find this center. Well, maybe I should actually do this one. The button one. There's a one in, in here. Because it keeps it a bit more tight. Um, maybe making me able to find the center of the button which is in here. The one that you press and you can um, yeah, the, put down the headrests in, in the back. But finding that center is pretty difficult. So maybe you need to sort of put your finger somewhere in here and feel where is the center and maybe mark that with, with something. All right, so I found something to, to write with to do my, my small cross. Hopefully this works out. Actually going to do like this. Um, put your finger in here somewhere and find the center of the button. It is fairly difficult to find. You can see um, I found it right here and I'll just mark it with my uh, make sure that it's in the right position. Maybe this is where I went wrong last time. I just marked uh, the center of, of where I think the button is going to go. So now I'm going to cut a very small um, hole through or across through this leatherette. Trying not to cut into the button itself. So I'm going to do a bit of a cross right here. Just to something that you definitely know is not enough uh, at first because you're going to have to just cut a bit more and cut a bit more and cut a bit more when you get to feeding the button through. Like so. We've now made a cross I'm going to use my finger to sort of enlarge in this hole a bit 
getting it through all the upholstery on, on the other side. It looks a bit violent and it also is a bit, I think, um, I'm trying to, to find the button underneath here. I definitely haven't made the hole big enough yet. So this is where maybe you can see I'm trying to to feed the button through through that hole. Um, and I have to use a bit of force. I can see this is not enough. I'm going to cut a bit more. Just do it millimeter by millimeter. I think you're good then. Let's try again. So, there you have it. And the button is through. This time I think it's a bit better. Now you, all you have to do is just do these couples of Velcros. And then you should be done. Like so. Yeah. Definitely need to tighten this a bit. So this is the headrest and how you do those. Um, once again, not the the f most fun part to do because you're afraid either that you scratch this button or you misplace that hole that you're going to cut. You're going to cut once more. I can see uh, in the manual, manual, and I'm not looking forward to that one either. But hopefully uh, it will work out nice, nicely. I think this did. Right, so I'm back at the in the car, and I just wanted to show you uh, a bit of what it looks like uh, underneath the seat, so you don't get any kind of um, surprise when if you were to do this. Uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. I, I did do uh, a vacuum of of this area uh, before, but what is important to to note are actually these bits because this is where the seat is going to latch. When you saw me uh, pick up the seat, this is where it latched. Um, these are the ISOFIX bits that also need to, to find its way um, in the back of the seat. And obviously also uh, these um, locks for, for, the, for the seat belts. All right, I stopped the video after like five or six minutes. Um, that was tough, that was really tough. Um, what you really have to remember is uh, getting the seats in the right position, maybe like 45 degrees or something like that. Then you can lift the back seat up enough to get them on the podiums that are in the back. What happened to me, additionally, was 
um, that I did feed uh, the seat belt locks through uh, the holes, but uh, they caught on to the old fabric underneath in here. And I didn't notice that. I could just, well, I have these in place, I thought, but they caught on to some fabric underneath in the old seat or something like that. And that really um, made me work for it. So it took like 15, 20 minutes and I broke, up, uh, broke out in a sweat. So um, practice that, I think. All right, as you may hear, uh, it started raining outside a bit, but um, I got to safety. I think I can do the last bit from, from inside the vehicle only. What I need to do is installing uh, the back covers for the back seat. Um, fairly st straightforward. They uh, as well are um, not uh, quite similar. You can see that on this, uh, the left hand side of this, um, there is an indent. And on the other side, there is not. And that fits with the indent wrap down here. By the seat belt. So that's what we're going to try to, to fit. All right. So a couple of scissors on the back and some Velcro. And a couple of scissors. And According to the manual, they should just slide nicely uh, over these backrests. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right. Um, mentioned in the manual as well is that maybe these holes are not centered quite enough um, to fit. And I can feel that mine aren't 100% centered. But we have to work around uh, getting these through the holes like we did with the, the headrest for the back seat. So I'm trying so I'm going to try to do that. That turned out to be quite the tight fit. Um, pretty difficult to do. Um, definitely had me working once again. I found out that I would much rather just pull the sides in, leaving much more room to work with this uh, and the other side as well. Just pull that in and work my way around these two holes. And then afterwards, I'm going to be able to pull these sides down. That was way easier than starting with the, the sides. Now I only have to, to feed this bit underneath through the seat and a Velcro it on the back. Okay, a couple of minutes ago I said, um, all I have to do now is just feed uh, the cover through, this, uh, through the bottom of, of the, the backrest of the seat. But that is quite frankly pretty difficult to do. So I think I'm, ha I'm going to have to go rogue and remove this plate. Um, there are a couple of these uh, hinges and a cover on those. Um, that cover comes off with a flatbed screwdriver pretty easily. Just pop it up. And you need a new uh, tool than the one the manual states. You need a bit, uh, a T40 uh, Torx uh, head, and you need to just take these off. That's one down. One more to go. Well, surprise, surprise. A couple more screws needed to be undone for this to, to get off, um, get out of the car, because it's wedged between this plate, that is the cover, um, just above the, the engine or the motor. Um, so there's a couple of screws, one uh, in the middle and two on each side. You don't have to, to take them all out. You just need to, to undo them a bit because it's this bit is wedged underneath this. So now you can actually get it up. And hopefully it will be much easier getting this seat cover through the seats. I managed to get 
the cover through the seat. It might be possible without removing this bit, but it was a real tight fit, uh, even uh, without this. So I definitely suggest everybody should take this this bit off the car before uh, going through the, uh, what I went through. Uh, so a couple of uh, zippers on each side. Uh, maybe you can see. Yeah, a couple of zippers on each side needs to be zipped, obviously. And there's Velcro all the way here. Um, and the only thing left is up here, where you might remember there is also a, um, a latch uh, or a, a hook or something where you can attach something to. Um, so um, that's that's the last bit uh, that needs to be begun to to this seat. The seat covers in place for the for the back seats. There's only one thing left to do. Um, Behind here we have this uh, latch, uh, and I quite liked having that latch. Uh, it's a bit of a it's a, a square right here, and according to the manual, I'm going to have to cut a hole right here and work my way with the provided tool to get this latch once again. So here goes nothing. And cutting along the edge, I can feel inside. Um... So maybe you can see it. I just get closer in here. We have uh, a latch where you can hook something into. Um, and according to plan, this tool is going to help me get this um, plastic cover outside of this filt. So let's see how that goes. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It actually worked out much, much better than, than expected. So uh, the seats from the back look like this now. And this is what the, the car looks like right now. The creases from, from when it was vacuum packed uh, definitely look much better, especially on, on the passenger seat, a couple of crinkles here but they they'll go away eventually um, when the leather uh, settles the back uh, also looks pretty damn amazing I must say um, not 100% sure about the headrest in the back uh, but definitely to to stay with this within the same uh, material I'm going to keep them about the armrest uh, I'm not 100% sure about that either. Um, obviously I have, like everybody else, leather underneath. Um, I think this is a good idea to have on it as long as your kids are, are young. Um, but when they leave, maybe I'll, I'll take it off. It's a bit softer to the touch uh, than before, so that is actually good. But all in all, it uh, looks really, really nice. Um, it took me a couple of hours to to do the to to do the install. Um, the first seat right here took, I think, uh, an hour, and the opposite one took uh, 15 minutes. So once you get the hang of things, 
uh, they start to sort of make sense um, and if you were to to switch to a, a totally different one you would definitely do it much quicker but in terms of fit and uh, materials it, it looks really really nice uh, I'm I'm really pleased with uh, with how it looks right now uh, and uh, it feels uh, it feels amazing uh, to, to sit in I think I'm going to to go for for a drive as you can see sun is setting um, that would be a, a beautiful way to, to test out the new seats. After having done the installation of the seat covers, uh, I'm really pleased with the result. Um, the, the seat covers look superb right now and I think it, it adds uh, a lot of value to the car. Before I found these seat covers, I actually thought about buying leather seats from a salvaged BMW i3. But that turned out to be next to, to impossible or uh, extremely expensive. So this option of, of doing the covers yourself and not having to have uh, um, a, an upholsterer doing it for you uh, definitely helped um, with the situation. And I, I think it worked out really well. Um, so um, if you're interested in, in purchasing these covers, I can definitely recommend this, this company. Um, love to customize. They um, have a terrific uh, customer service, and I think the the product uh, speak for itself when you uh, when you've seen the the photos of it. And um, it's definitely an, a nice product. I I would uh, highly recommend this. What I'm going to do now is to go up to my car and take out the back seat once again and flip the the cup holders uh, the attentive viewer uh, maybe the attentive viewer did see that i i turned it the uh, the wrong way around so um, i have a, a nice job ahead of me so i'm going to go go do that uh, hopefully you do not have to take out that, those uh, back seats uh, more than once because they were a bit of a drag to to fit back into to the car but um, lucky for me I'm going to do that twice so take care